My name is Casey LeBlanc. I'm a senior civil engineer at the East Bay Municipal Utility District, and I'm the project manager for the N-Pipe Energy Project. The East Bay Municipal Utility District is a California utility that was formed over 100 years ago, and we serve water to 1.4 million customers in the San Francisco Bay Area. Our primary water supply comes from the Sierras and flows by gravity across the Central Valley to our water treatment plants in the East Bay, and that's where we have over 400 facilities that we use to serve water to customers either at sea level up to about 1,500 feet in elevation. And all those facilities are connected by a very large piping network that's 4,200 miles long. Thanks to the leadership of the district's board of directors, we have a goal to be carbon neutral by 2030. And since 2000, we've reduced our greenhouse gas emissions by approximately half through a combination of strategies such as generating hydroelectricity, solar, and biogas. This project offers us a, another strategy to evaluate for our portfolio to becoming carbon neutral. So I'm Greg Semler. I'm the CEO and founder of Impipe Energy. East Bay Mud is very well known because of their focus on energy and water and focus on innovation. So the Hydro Excess Energy Recovery System is a micro hydro turbine coupled with a control valve that takes the excess pressure in a municipal water system and converts it into clean, renewable energy. A hydro excess basically replaces a pressure reducing valve that we have here on site. It allows us to capture the energy that would normally have been burned off as friction and allows us to reduce the pressure in an area that is below here. Having the opportunity to capture energy that we are normally losing is a great opportunity. It allows us to be more efficient with our operation as opposed to the way we used to do things 50, 60, 70 years ago. We see East Bay Mud at the forefront of innovation for, for water technologies, and it's a challenging thing to be at the forefront of. And we found a really good relationship working with their engineering team, working with their operators, understanding their critical features. This hydro access system has a lot of data tied to it, and a lot of that data we want to be able to monitor and measure, and that is all monitored by our operators in our control room. They're looking at upstream pressure, downstream pressure, and for the hydro access, they're looking at the power that's being generated. This project touches on each of the three components of the triple bottom line. So when we generate electricity and offset a portion of our operational costs, that helps keep the rates low for our customers. In addition, when we reduce our greenhouse gases, that has benefits for our service area as well as beyond. And then one of the unexpected benefits from the project has been that the in-pipe energy system is quieter than our traditional facilities. So that may provide quality of life improvements for our neighbors. We're really excited about the opportunity to use water to solve the climate crisis. Wherever there's hydroelectricity, you'll find the lowest cost sources of energy. We're doing hydroelectricity, only it's in a pressurized water pipeline. There's no environmental impact. It's a predictable, consistent, reliable source of low cost electricity. This is the first installation of the end pipe energy technology in California. When we are able to work with companies early on in the product development stage, we're able to develop the products so that they better meet our utilities' needs as well as utilities globally.